Joined here with EJ Emery. He's about to head into the penalty box for the two minute drill, but let's get to know EJ a little bit away from the game before we hop in the box. EJ, you're a first round draft pick this year of the New York Rangers. What was that experience like being in Las Vegas and hearing your name called in the first round? Yeah, it was surreal. You know, I think I blacked out a little bit when uh, walking up on stage, but yeah, it was a pretty cool moment, especially for my family and you know, having all my family there. It was pretty awesome. Now, not many freshmen get to say that they played in the Ralph before a collegiate game as well, but you were here last year as well. What was that moment like kind of getting a little sneak peek of what Ralph Engelstead Arena is like. Yeah, it's awesome. The atmosphere was pretty cool, but uh, yeah, you know, playing on the home side will be a little better. Let's talk about TBSA too. A lot of UND alums have gone through that program. How does that kind of prep you for this next level of college hockey? Yeah, it's awesome. You know, you get to see you know, guys like Jake Sanderson come through and, uh, you know, do what he did in college and, you know, playing here. And so it's a pretty cool experience. You're a good talker so far. Ready to be put to the test for two minutes? Can't wait. All right, let's head in. All right, let's put two minutes on the clock. EJ Emery, your time in the penalty box starts right now. Let's go. All right, you're from Compton, California. That's your hometown, but I know you also lived in Canada as well. Why was it important to put Compton, though, as your hometown? You know, it's uh, my whole, my dad's side of the family is all from there, and, um, you know, it's pretty cool to put some positive light on, you know, an area like that. How much better is the weather in California than Grand Forks, North cool. Dakota? It's, uh, it's quite a bit better. Have you experienced winter like this before? Ah, uh, no, no, I haven't. We'll get you a Coke. Good luck, my friend. All right, what makes up your family? You talked about your dad a little bit. Who else is in your family? Yeah, I got my mom, my sister, and my brother and my immediate family. What is your favorite memory in hockey? I'm um, just getting an opportunity to play in U18 Worlds. What is your favorite place that you have traveled to in hockey? Um, probably the Ralph. Why did you pick your jersey number? Uh, LeBron in Miami was number six, and uh, all the Hughes brothers were number six in the U.S. program. So say 23 years retired here, so yeah. six is a good pick, all right? Uh, your teammate, TJ Septon Felter, how do you uh, spell his last name? Yeah, if you get mad at me for this one, but I got no clue. I got uh, S-E-M-P, and that's about it. Okay, we'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> on road trips, what are you most likely to forget? Um, probably, like, my belt. Okay, belt. We can we can we can we can bring extra belts yeah, on road trips this year for you guys. Okay. Besides your cell phone, what can you not leave the house without? Probably like my wallet. That would be pretty bad if I you know, left that. Need wallet to pay for yeah. things. That makes sense. What is your favorite activity outside of hockey? Um, probably just hanging out with Cody Kroll, To be honest. Which of your teammates is the last to be ready for practice? Probably also Cody Kroll. Which teammate would be able to get you out of trouble if you were to be in trouble? We know you're a good student, but what teammate could bail you out? Right, uh, tubes. What's the best part about being at UND so far? Uh, just uh, amazing atmosphere, amazing place to be, and yeah. All right, two minutes right on the nose. EJ Emery, thanks for your time in the Pelotax. You. you are clear. That's cool.